What's going on out there, America? People in Canada, over in the UK, in Russia. I took a look at the analytics today. There's people all over the world watching this channel. Crazy. I'm talking crazy. What's going on, everybody? Do me a favor. Hit the like button. Just take your finger, just with this little finger right here, and just reach over and just hit that like button. It's a thumb. It looks like it looks like that. So this pedophile got caught being a pedophile in the act of being a pedophile. He got caught making out by the brother of the 16-year-old girl and the neighbor of the 16-year-old girl. This pig right here, this jackboot thug pig got caught. Got caught. He got caught. Like we're on the East Coast. He got caught, baby. Okay, so that's one thing. Okay, let's, let's fast out to the police about all of this. Let, Petrol battery charges let, against a check. Okay, now here this is. Now check, check this out. What's next? Charges are dropped. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pardon me? Excuse me? What'd you just say? It says, what's next? Charges are dropped. Okay, I'm going to need you guys. I'm going to clip this video, this little segment of this live. I'm going to clip it down to a small little clip right after we end here. And then I need you guys to share the hell out of it because we're going to watch this. And then we're going to go over to the Chester, Chesterfield Police Department Facebook page and we're going to let them know. Three News has learned that sexual battery charges against a Chester Township police officer will be dropped. But officials tell us that does not mean that the 29-year-old officer accused of inappropriate behavior with a, teenier, with a teenager won't see charges. Our senior crime and justice correspondent Lydia Sparra has the latest. Chester Township police officer Nicholas Iacampo was arrested for sexual battery against a 16-year-old girl. It was after this 911 call. I don't want a certain officer. It's about a certain officer in my child. The caller, the victim's father. He was just caught by, by our neighbor and my, my son while, okay. while, he, while he's on duty. The caller continued to say Iacampo was seen kissing his daughter. I have, I have uh, countless text messages to corroborate it from him to her. Even stating the officer's name. Okay, which officer were you not wanting? Nick. Do not want Nick. In an unexpected turn of events, the sexual battery charge against Iacampo will be dropped later this week. The 29-year-old was facing a third-degree felony. His charge was based on the Ohio Revised Code. In it, it says the other person is a minor, the offender is a peace officer, and the offender is more than two years older than the other person. He's 29. Whoever violates this section is guilty of sexual battery. But in 2016, the Ohio Supreme Court said it is unconstitutional because police officers cannot be held to a higher standard than the rest of the public when it comes. Okay, so just pause right there for one second. Excuse me. The Ohio State Supreme Court. Didn't you just justices? Didn't you justices send me a letter? Didn't you guys on the Ohio, the, the justices, the people who are justices on the Supreme Court, didn't you guys send me a letter and try to loop me into practicing law without a license? Didn't you guys try to prosecute me for trying to help out someone in Ohio? You did, right? You guys wanted to prosecute me for taking the reins for someone who had no idea what they were doing. And, you know, whatever. But you wanted to prosecute me for practicing law without a license and these same people who call themselves justices, they, well, listen for yourself. A revised code. In it, it says the other person is a minor, the offender is a peace officer, and the offender is more than two years older than the other person. Whoever violates this section is guilty of sexual battery. But in 2016, the Ohio Supreme Court said it is unconstitutional because police officers cannot be held to a higher standard than. Stop. Full stop. What? Excuse me? Police officers cannot be held to a higher standard. Who would write that? They already get immunity for abusing us, torturing us, killing us, raping us. But yet they can't be held to a higher standard when it comes to sexual assault of a minor. 
than the rest of the public when it comes to having sex with minors. However, the legislative branch failed to amend the statute to reflect the court's ruling, which mandates Iacampo's sexual battery charge to be dismissed. I spoke with the Chester Township Chief of Police, Craig Young. He says the Lake County prosecutor is still handling the case, and he does expect Iacampo to face new charges. Iacampo remains on administrative leave, but Young says he will not return to the township for failing to adhere to department policy and procedure. Now, Aya Campos attorney Ian Friedman said he could not really comment much about the case, but said his client will be back in court on Friday when those charges are dismissed. Can I ask what's going on just so I can let him know before he will? He, he uh, has been uh, messing around with my 16-year-old daughter. He was just caught by, by our neighbor and my, my son while, okay. while, he, while he's on duty. They caught him making out with her. He had her pinned up against the, the police cruiser. That is absolutely... Three News has learned that... That is absolutely disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. That is so sick and twisted. Look, I'm a man, okay? I'm a man, and I am a straight man, and I'm attracted to beautiful women. I think we all are. And they did a study, a sociological study, where they found that men around the world, both in places where they had hardly any contact with human beings, Great Britain, Germany, Europe, all through Europe, all through Africa, they did a sociological study. And they found that the average age when men found women to be their most attractive is 23 years old. I didn't do the study. I just read it. So what that means as a man is you can take a look at a 16-year-old little girl and say, man, she's going to be really beautiful one day. She's going to be a really attractive woman. I'll be really happy for her when she finds herself a man at an appropriate age and has children and has a life or just finds a partner of any kind that they're the most happy with. I'm a man. You can look at a 16 year old little girl and say, oh, she's going to be a really attractive woman one day. But no man, there's not a single man in this room or in the world that looks at a child and says, I want to go and <laughs> bro, bro, that little girl is going to grow up one day. And when she's like 25, 30, she's going to go, yeah, I remember that guy. He was like 29 years old making out with me when I was 16. So that means he was grooming her. So that means that the father who found the text messages back and forth between this predator pig and his daughter, he's been grooming her for how long? How long has he been texting her? How long has he been looking out for her? Just drive by and, oh, just thought I would come out of school and check on you, little kid. <laughs> I mean, it is absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. Um, so someone asked, um, what about 80-year-olds dating 30-year-olds? Bro, 30-year-old woman, her bread's all the way baked. Her bread's all the way cooked. You know, even you could even say 18, even though 18 is a little bit young. I mean... I lived in Hollywood for a long time. You, you don't always date girls your age. or often a little younger than you are, but, but you don't date them when they're 16. And a 30-year-old woman can make a decision. She can date an 18-year-old guy or she can date an 80-year-old guy. But at least she's of age. She's ma mature enough to make her own decisions on what she... So let's do this. Let's do this. While we're here and we're together... Let's go over real fast, and I'm going to drop the link in here. The Chester, was it, did she say Chester Field? Is that what she said? What did she say the name of the pig shack was that that pig worked at? Does anybody remember the name of the pig shack that she said? Sexual battery charges against a Chester Township police Chester officer. Chester Township. Chester Township. Chester Township police so let's just take a second real fast here and let's just give a call let's just i'm gonna i'm just gonna real quick 
give them a call and leave them a little voicemail. Let's see what happens here. Hey, is this fire? Is this the? Is there a watch commander on duty right now? Can we talk to that guy? A watch commander? Someone in charge of the police there. Someone, someone who's going to get my message and maybe pass it on to the higher ups. Well, what what kind of information do you have? Well, there, apparently there's a child molester on the police department there. Uh, some guy named Nick, and he's molesting high school girls. Are, are there other high school girls that he's molested, or is is this the only one that's come forward? I don't have any information on it. Um, I can give you the phone number to Chester's police station directly. That would be great. Um, Th thanks a lot. I really appreciate okay. it. Thank yeah. Go ahead. I'll, I'll give you that number, but, but there's not going to be anyone in there right now. It's not, that line is not staffed 24 seven like dispatches. Oh, okay. So you'll want to, you'll want to call that number tomorrow. I don't know what time they get in. I would say maybe eight or nine. You're in Georgia, then, right? Um, you're, you're, so you're East coast time. I'm sorry. You're in Georgia. So you're East coast time. Oh, you guys are in Ohio. Go figure. Go figure. Man, a lot of a lot of these cases come out of Ohio. Not not the not the pedophilia. Well, in Ironton, Ohio, you had John. Let me give you the phone number. You sir. had Jonathan Spoljarek who was raping high school girls too. So sir, let me give you the phone number because okay. there's nothing more that I can do. For I, you. I know I'm not mad at you, honey. The, I don't 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 think. Phone it, number. Okay. Is four four zero four four zero seven two nine seven two nine. One, two, three, nine. Thanks a lot, ma'am. Give that number a call tomorrow during the day and ask okay. who you would speak to um, regarding that incident because I'm not sure who exactly you need to talk to. You think they have a voice box over there or a voicemail? I could leave them a voicemail maybe? You know, I'm actually not sure. I never have to call in after hours, so I'm not – I don't know for sure, unfortunately. Well, God bless you. Keep your high school kids away from the cops there. Have a nice night. Okay, bye-bye. Is it not amazing how these state workers, how they're just, I mean, it sounded like she was all, I'm going to drop the link to the Facebook page here because now, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go by this Facebook page right here. I'm just going to swing on by this Facebook page here just real quick like, and let's take a look. Chester Township Police Department, Ohio again, huh? Another Ohio case. Chester Township Police Department has limited who can comment on this post. What are they doing? Getting rid of uh, racist statues? Would like to thank the VFW for the relocation of the... Okay. Press release. Okay. So it's got some comments here on this one for sure. Let's see what we got here. 70 comments. My One of mine... Oh, yeah. Did they, did they delete my comment? Oh, you guys. Oh, you guys. Oh, man. Let's see all comments if they. Wow. Wish regular people were given crimes for free pass, except regular people don't get don't get prosecuted if they do. Shame on y'all. You're going to drop the charges. This police department supports pedophile cops. Disgusting. Wow. Wow. So there's some people here who have dropped. I, I put the I put the link for their. He was above the. Okay, so then right down here, Maggie, Maggie chimes in and Maggie says, "What happened to innocent until proven guilty? What? What? Isn't this the same pig who dragged a man from a burning car? Let's give him due process, people." Mag, hey Maggie, hey Maggie, Maggie. So here's the thing. He got caught red-handed. If this was me, Maggie, if this was me and that was my daughter, see, that's why I can't have any kids and I can't have a, a wife because they'll try to attack my wife and kids to hurt me. But if this was me, Maggie, and I don't have any kids, so it's a total hypothetical here. If it was me, I would deal with that man. I would go deal with him because he's probably diddling the daughter. He's probably diddling that thir that 16 year old girl, just like Jonathan Spuljarek did in Ironton, Ohio. So Maggie, I would deal with that pig 
on the street is what I would do if he molested my daughter. I, I don't have a kid, so it's totally hypothetical. So then I chimed into Magster, Maggie. With multiple law enforcement agencies involved, there was obviously evidence showing it. Why do you need multiple? Why don't you just need one investigator? It's so ridiculously stupid. It is so ridiculously stupid. So hide 11 responses, show 11 responses. How come they show some responses and then eight replies on this one and then you keep going down? Maggie. Wow. Maggie, he admitted it. Oh, wow. Exact. Oh, and then this one says exactly. Sharon Davis, great big cop sucker. Great big cop sucker. Sharon Davis is a cop sucker, everybody. Nice to see you, cop sucker. Nice to see you. It looks like they deleted my comment. I can't, I don't, I don't know. I didn't see the article where he admitted it, but boy, I've never seen a meaner group of people. Um, Maggie, Maggie, when we find out you're raping kids, you're going to get a lot meaner. If I was Nick, I'd get the hell out of town, bro. There's probably people who are looking for you, bro. I'm nowhere near Ohio, so it's not me. But I would venture to say that there's people hoping and praying that you show up at the bar they're at. I would say, Nick, you're, you're, you're probably, you know. Chardon is very odd, the town in Chardon. I mean, I would just say, seems to me that uh, Maggie, like you're, you're kind of missing the boat here, hon. It just seems like it. That's all I'm saying. It seems like you're missing the boat. Maggie, I've got two your daughters. And I can promise you this. Pedo police would have been in an ambulance. I, and I said to her, the world would be a better place without your cop-sucking Karen boot-licking perspective. You're a scumbag, Maggie. Daddy was a pig. What was it? You infatuated with pigs? You're a nasty woman. Oh, and then she replied, grow up and get a life. Sharon Davis is one of those people we'd be better off without her cop-sucking, boot-licking perspective. Where's the, where's the pedophile cop? Grooming high school girls. Scratching my effing head. Should have known better. Meanwhile, in... <laughs> uh, oh, wonder if it has anything to do with the fact his mother is a judge. Oh, would you? is that right? Why would anyone wonder that? Because people like to strike back or get even if they feel they're wronged. And then Vince tells her, shut the F up. The fact that his mom is a judge plus him being a cop means he'll probably get probation. Sharon Davis, I believe it's because he raped a child and got caught. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, talk about a sick and twisted thing. 